what the tree was intended by God to do. It was to always produce. Proverbs 11.30 says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that wins souls is wise. You see, the tree that produces, if righteous, before God, is to win souls. The fruits produced in the life of a believer in Christ are fruits of repentance and of salvation. Acts 26.20 They that should repent and turn to God and do works met for repentance. Your life becomes a work met for repentance produced by the Holy Spirit in you. Your light is to reveal conditions. Your faith was to sanctify those that receive it. Acts 26.18 That they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them that are sanctified by faith that is in me. You know, without this produce in the life of a believer, even after they have received the knowledge of God, that tree becomes without purpose to the Father. John 15.2 Every branch in me that bears no fruit is taken away. And every branch in me that bears fruit, he purges that it may bring forth more fruit. The only way your life is used by God is to continue in Christ. John 15.5 He that abides in me and I in him, brings forth much fruit. And without me you can do nothing. Without Christ, all works are burned up. Then verse 6 tells us, they are cast forth as an independent branch with no purpose. And with no water they wither. And men come and gather these and cast them to the fire, where they're burned. And we are warned of these men that gather. There are those that refuse to glorify the Father, and they keep you from water, so that they can burn for their purpose. They are teachers of another way and another Christ. Second Peter 2.17 These are wells without water. Empty clouds carried by a storm for whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. They have no living water, but all the right words, and they will be pleasant when they gather you up. They will teach and celebrate similar to those that are connected to the vine. Jude 12 These are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, they are clouds without water, carried about by winds, trees whose fruit have withered. They are without fruit, twice dead, and plucked up by the roots. Now this is their identifiable marks. These gatherers are without fear, and are twice dead. Now their first death arrived when they were without fruit, or withered fruit. Their second death came when they are plucked up by the roots. There is no hope for them. The grace of God stops here. Even though their branches were cast off and they were merely a stump, God did not give up on them as long as there was some existence of life. Even if found only deep underground, there was still hope. But unrooted means there's nothing under there. Job 14, 7 through 9. There is hope for a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and the tender branch within will not cease. And even though the root within is waxed old in the earth, and the stalk dies in the ground, yet by the scent of water, it will bud, and it will bring forward bows like a plant. 
This is my hope. It is to give the prodigal a scent of that living water. You have taken yourself to the wells without water, and you are continued dry. If I can place the scent in a song that sings to you, or with great compassion pull you away from the fire, in this God has purposed me, because he loves you, and he is calling you home. I hope that you will return to him. This is food that I provided to my family for years. I now want to provide it to you. I hope you'll share it with a friend. If you like it, I'll provide more. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.